foremost. Call him like Yahweh, by Shem, how much Yahweh was shy. Double honest to the pastor of this great millstone. Peace and mercy uh, to the elect. All right, peace and mercy to the elect. All right, and um, I do my video earlier this morning. He saw cut. He saw cut. Cut the stream for no reason. I was on Wi-Fi. You know, I was on Wi-Fi. And uh, I was on Wi-Fi, and, and, and for some strange reason, Esau just cut it. You know, I had good connection, whatever. But and I guess what, <laughs> when, when you when you're going into you know saying truth, um, and it was only like one person watching anyway, so it, it, it was like goddamn, you know, why cut the video? But hey, Esau is the devil, but. Either way, you know what I'm saying, you ain't stopping shit. The devils ain't stopping shit. Um, but, um, but yeah, man, uh, through the Spirit of the Lord, um, you know, we, 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 we understand we live in a goddamn demonic place, bro. You know, we, 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 the, the, the mere fact that we're still alive and breathing is a miracle from the Most High, man. You know, because should have been dead by now, you know. But sometimes, you know, people say death is better than life, perpetual sickness. And bro, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we would rather prefer to be dead to be here, man. You know, because, you know, the Lord got us here for a purpose. But being in the spirit world, spiritual realm, you know, is actually a good thing. You know, when brothers pass away, and stuff like that, you know. They're in the spirit world, you know, spiritual realm. They're not being troubled, man, like we are over here, getting troubled, bro. You know, suffering in the flesh. You know, you got to pay bills. Who the fuck want to keep paying bills, 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 bills on top of bills? You know, more bills, more credit card payments, more car payments, more car notes. You know, debt, more debt. The only ones that's happy here are, are is the white man and and, and, the, and the woman, you know. The women are happy here, man. You know, they're happy whoring. They're happy being being perverse. You know, being sickos and weirdos. You know, and sodomites. Sodomites are happy in this place. You know, the sodomites. They're happy in this place because they got rights. You know, you a sodomite? Shit, they will protect you, man. They'll protect you under all kind of statutes and judgments, man, which are unrighteous. Furthermore, reason why this place has got to go, man, because this this is truly a bizarro world, man. This is truly a bizarro place, you know. This is a place where there's no, there's really no good, man. You look around, and there's no good. I mean, I I, I don't want to fucking continue here, bro. I really don't. And 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 leaving Babylon is not is not the. Uh, Fleeing, fleeing this place is not the answer because if you flee, right? You, let's say you go to other places, you still under the white man still rules the earth. You ain't escaping his grasp, you know. It's not like you're, you're escaping his grasp. It's not like you're you're, you're um, somehow you think you move to another country or something. You're still underneath the rulership of these devils, you know. In one one way, shape, or form. So you can't escape. You really can't escape. You could try to flee Babylon, you know, or whatever. Oh, I'm I'm, I'm gonna flee the missiles, but the judgment of the Lord is still gonna catch up to you. You still wicked. Most of you niggas that you know, what I'm saying, especially them guys that left, that fled Babylon, you know, behind uh, GOCC and all them guys. You know, what end up happening to their asses? They end up they they end up stranded out there, man. You know what I'm saying? And and and. And the land that right now is not even theirs because the white man is in power. The Edomite is in power over there, man. And you're over there trying to escape his grasp, you know, by by, by fleeing. That's why you got to stick to the prophecies, man. The scriptures never told us to, to get on a plane, get a ticket, and go and and, 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 and flee from Babylon. Now, America is really where we're going to be delivered. We, we're waiting on our Lord to, to return, you know. So it can deliver us out of the hands of our oppressors, man. Out of the hands of the, of, of the damn devil, you know? Okay, so... 
it says here Proverbs uh, 28 and verse 5 it says evil men understand not judgment but they that seek the Lord understand all things see we understand all things because we're seeking after the Heavenly Father His Son the people of this world they understand shit they, they, they're still they're still they're, they're, the only thing they're seeking is the bag the, the paper the paper dollar you know or chasing some booty you know they're chasing some booty some, some, but the, the word booty goes back to treasure the, the Lord said what where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. You know, so our treasure is a, is in heaven. Our treasure is not an earthly thing. It's not in this fucking ass bizarre world, man. You know, this is a bizarre world, man. A bizarre, weird, 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 wicked world, man. You know. A real wicked, bizarre world, man. Where, 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 where the darkness is as light and the light is as darkness, you know? Every fucking single aspect of this place is wicked as all hell. This society, to its very core, is just evil, man. It's an evil place, bro. And you know, you niggas are in love with this place. You so-called Negro Latinos, man, you know? You come here and you're, you're infatuated with this place, man. And everything it has to offer, fancy restaurants and vacations and you know and and, 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 and and the delicacies the weed the drugs you know, the partying you know all things that 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 fulfill that lust of your flesh which the, the flesh is treacherous as all hell man you know and but 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 america is designed to indulge your your your, your worst desires man you know what i'm saying sexual depravity all right the worst things that you can fucking imagine you know what I'm saying? In America, you can you, you can get it. You could do it. You know? Fucking sadistic, evil, demonic shit that, that, that you could do. You know what I'm saying? You could pop a midget here. You know? There's anything you can think of. As long as you got the money to do it, you could basically fucking do it, man. You know? You could basically do it here. Whatever your heart desire. You want to get with a dog? You want to get with a cat? You want to get with a uh, you want to get with an alligator or a crocodile man or whatever you want to do, you know, shit. You got enough money, you got enough, you know the right people, you could you could get it done, you know. If you like, if you're into that kind of shit, you into little boys and all that shit, you know, you you into you into uh, 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 you into being a pit pedophile and shit, you know. They got they got organizations that protect you. The North Atlantic uh, Nambula, North Atlantic. Uh, male boy lover association, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm we're speaking truth, like satanic, satanic covens, man. You know, where Satanists have rights. You know, the Church of Satan is recognized as as, as an actual, you know, an actual um, institution. You know, with, with, with government protections, just like any other church tax exempt. You know. Uh, with loopholes, tax loopholes, and and, and 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 you know, ways ways to continue to get rich. I mean, there's no standard in society. See, there, there must be a standard, right? In the ancient world, we had a standard because we kept the laws, touch commandments of the Most High. We 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 live by the scriptures, you know. Man put, commit some adultery, man be put to death. You know, man try to take. A, Take another, uh, uh, take take another man's possessions, you know. Thieving, man, be put to death. In this society, you you can commit legal legal robberies, man. You know, you can lie, you can steal, you can slander somebody. You know, you you can do you can do basically any motherfucking thing. You know, you could be a lawless degenerate, man. You know, you're free to do whatever you want to do. So th this is what happens. This place got too much fucking freedom, bro. This place got too much freedom, man. These people are just dumb as all hell. They're about the these are about the dumbest generation of people that you've ever seen on the earth. You know, these these goddamn these goddamn lunatics, man. They don't even know what they don't even know where they're standing. You know, they don't know nothing about no history. Okay, and and it's 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 crazy. It's miraculous in play. You know, the the Lord's the one that's. Uh, prolonging it a little bit so that he can ultimately destroy it and deliver us up out of it but this place is a fucking hellhole a polluted hellhole you know worthy of destruction 
worthy of thermonuclear destruction, man. You know? This place is worthy of, of the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, man. And it will be judged very soon, man. The scripts say what? In Amos 9? The eyes of the Lord are upon a sinful kingdom. They shall destroy it off the face of the earth. You know? Saving that the Lord will not utterly destroy the house of Israel. See, mercy is for Israel. Mercy, salvation, that's for Israel. And the elect first, you know? The first fruits. The first fruits of the spirit. The first fruits of the kingdom. You know? So, uh, Proverbs 28, 6, it says, uh, Better is the poor that walketh in his uprightness than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich. See, most of these people, they judge you based upon your riches, man. Like, what you got, you know? They don't judge a man by the content of his character, like Mike, like, like, uh, like Malcolm, like Martin Luther King said. <laughs> I think it was Martin Luther King or, 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 or Malcolm X, one of them niggas, man. One of them, one of them Jerry, 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 Jerry pandering niggas, you know. They don't, they don't judge you by, they judge you by what you got as a man, you know. They judge you, if you ain't worth shit, they'll say, they'll, society looks at you like you ain't shit. You know, the women ain't gonna wanna sleep with you. You know, you're gonna have a hard time making friends. The scriptures say the wisdom of the poor man is despised. But the Lord said, better is the poor that walketh in his uprightness. Why you think, why you think right now there's only a few people watching our videos like that? You know? They they won't they won't stick around that long, man. You know? You know, in the beginning I, I used to uh I used to get mad or whatever, you know, I'd be like, well, I mean, what's now I don't give a fuck. Because I already know most of you niggas are full of shit anyways. Most most of you clowns that call yourself uh, 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 um, <laughs> they call yourself believing in the Bible You know You niggas got a short attention span You know what I'm saying You, you, you won't watch something that, that's edifying You'll watch some bullshit Some, some folly man just look, at, just look at what the world is Everybody's mind is basically in the world They're all like on on, 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 a, on, a, on a microwavable uh, 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 Quick instant gratification tip You know Everybody, everybody will flock to to, to, to to folly. You know, if you if you put up a video of, of brothers fighting or some shit like that, you get a bunch of clicks from people that you don't even know, like people that would never watch your channel. Like they'll, they'll just come and watch your stuff because they want to see controversy. They want to see bullshit. And when it comes to edification, our people don't give a damn. All right, this is why, you know, what I'm saying, this is why, uh, 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 you know, we don't concern ourselves with the the majority of you people, man. Fuck you, people, man. You know, shout on, bro. Shout on. We, we, we don't we don't concern ourselves with you niggas, man. Cause you at the end of the day, you ain't shit. You ain't shit, man. And the Lord's gonna destroy you. You know. Putting all this time, effort, doing the videos, you know what I'm saying? Years of work for you niggas is to, to, to just disregard the you know what I'm saying? But if a nigga be a be a twitch streamer, you know, a nigga be so Illuminati or one of these niggas, you know. <laughs> Uh, you, know, you see the com you, you, you see the Twitch streams? Boom, 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 boom. Comments, 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 comments. Love, love. Super chats, five dollars, ten dollars, a hundred dollars. Niggas are sitting like, oh man, you know, they worried about doo doo doo, -doo garbage, man. That's what they worried about, bro. They worried about did KC uh, uh, uh buy a bunch of fucking fireworks for Fourth of July, you know? They worried about you know. Uh, 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 Duke Dennis got the Riz. He he, he's, he got all these bitches, you know. <laughs> like they're worried about Phantom. They're worried about uh, nigga Steph is cool. They're worried about you know a uh, uh, Mr. Beast. You know, these are some low niggas, man. These are some low hanging fruit. You know. I mean, the scriptures say what? When I became a man, I put away childish things. Uh, the, 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 these are grown ass men worried about what another man is doing. You know, worried about what a Twitch streamer is doing. When the men of the Lord are teaching, what they get? Number eight. Number eight. You know? Barely get any views. You barely get any, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. Even the Apostle Elders. Look at the Apostle Elders. Video won't even get a thousand views. Dropping knowledge, dropping jewels, man. No, don't nobody care. That's why this is only for the elect. You know? It says, verse 7, uh, Proverbs 28 and 7, Whoso keepeth the law is a wise son. But he that is a companion of righteous men shameth his father. You niggas are ashamed. You're, you're ashamed to your father, to the heavenly father. You don't even, you, we don't even call you the other niggas Israelites. You're two thirds, you're not even Israelites. You're just black niggas and Mexicans, you know? That's all you are. You ain't, you ain't Israelites. You don't deserve 
the privilege of being called an Israelite, man. A son of the Most High God. You, you, until you come back and be reborn again, the scriptures say a man. All right? Because you don't want to understand. You don't want to. You don't want to get it. You want to reject life. You want to do all the shit. You know. You want to have your head stuck up this white man ass. You know. These niggas, these, these, bro. I'm telling you, this is the folly of this world, bro. I mean, the mind of these people. You sit there, man, about how you, how you, uh, how you went to Lollapalooza and had a, got a train ran on you. You know, like I, I mean, this is what these people talk about all day long, just bullshit, bro. Like, I mean, you turn on the YouTube, like, cause niggas don't watch TV no more. Like, cable television, that shit's a thing of the past. YouTube, 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 Netflix, Hulu, all this shit is lame as hell. It's like, what the. F what kind of shit is this, man? It's all watered down. It's not even, you know, it's not even like, like how TV used to be, you know? Or how these movies used to be. That's actually used to be like edifying, man. They used to be like things that you learned and it was like entertaining. The shit was like entertaining. It was real entertainment. Like now, like these movies and shit, like I, I just watch them. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Most of the time, I'm just in the scriptures, man. I'm into the scriptures and I'm into, you know, actually going out and doing stuff, you know, with my actual hands, you know? You know, actually experiencing, having new experiences and shit like that. You know, like this world got you, got you living in a goddamn VR meta world. You know, pretty soon most of these people are gonna be like stuck in their house, like like the pandemic. Niggas was just stuck in the house, like stuck on the screen instead of like you know interacting with people and shit. Most mo pretty soon they're gonna have AI girlfriends. They already got Chat G GPT and all that shit producing like artificial intelligent girlfriends. You know, niggas already got sex robots and shit. I mean, bear, men are, are, are like scared to approach women because of rejection and all that shit. These bitches got all these high ass standards and shit for, for what they want in a man. But when a man got a standard for a woman, now nah, he's a he's a he's a bad dude. You know, I don't want a fat ass bitch. Oh, that's that that that, that that's well, that's wrong, man. Uh, but but the bitch can put all kind of standards on you. You know, and, and say that you're supposed to be this tall and have this size of rod and, and and have this in your bank account. You know. And have no kids like yeah, like these bitches they got kids but you can't have no kids right you know <laughs> you see what i'm saying bro like this this place is bizarre man it's backwards bro you know that's why it says in deuteronomy 30 32 and 5 that that that, 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 that you people are perverse and crooked man you know you're just perverse bro you're perverse yes you're, you're strange man you know you're strange because you follow after these heathens Instead of following after the men of the Lord and, and, and Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, you follow after these monkeys, man. Turn you into fucking, turn you into weirdos, man. All our people are a bunch of weirdos, man. You know, a bunch of strange, strange people. That's why the Lord said He's gonna visit you that clothed in strange apparel. You know, you, 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 everything about you is strange to the Most High, man. You, the Most High is looking at Jake and he's seeing a bunch of strange niggas, man. You know. He's, he's seeing a, a Hamite. He's seeing an Edomite. That's what he's looking at. He's looking at you and seeing a, a fucking heathen, man. You're, un <laughs> you're uncircumcised in the heart, man. And saying you're all over the place, bro. Matter of fact, let me get that. Jeremiah 9 and 25, right? It speaks about, it speaks about uh, how the state of our people, man. You know? In this goddamn bizarro-ass world that we're living in. Jeremiah chapter 9. And uh, jump down. And verse 25 says, uh, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will punish all them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised. Egypt and Judah and Edom and the children of Ammon, Moab, and all that are in the uttermost corners that, are, that dwell in the wilderness. For all these nations are uncircumcised, and all the house of Israel are uncircumcised in the heart. <laughs> All the house of Israel is uncircumcised into the heart. Hey, he just said he basically compared you to Edom, to Ammon, Moab. He basically said you just like these niggas, man. All the house of Israel is uncircumcised in the heart. The scriptures speak about being a Jew inwardly, right? These people are not worried about being Jews. They're not worried about being an Israelite. They're not worried about repenting. You out there teaching the word. These people don't give a goddamn. But if you do monkey backflips and you out there handing out pretty butter jelly sandwiches or dime bags of weed, you know, get, get these niggas a dime bag of weed. Hey, hey nigga, come on, come on, man. Let them find out that the AMP is in the city. Oh, the whole city will come out there. And they'll be like, yeah, oh my God, when y'all throwing a party? Oh my God, you know? Like, bro, I mean, these, these niggas are crazy, man. Because, because it's all about money. If you're not producing, 
You know what I'm saying? People, people, people flocking to you for money. You know? Oh my God, Cristiano, Cristiano. You know? Go, oh my God, Messi. Oh my God. You know, Messi came to Miami. Go, oh my God, Messi, Messi. You know, like Messi did something for you niggas, man. All he did is put a ball in the, in the back of the net. You know, it's all fucking dead. He's just great. He's a great soccer player. You know? I, I almost threw up saying that shit. He's a great football player, man. You know. That's all. You know. What the fuck you niggas praising these these celebrities for, man? The, these celebrities are gonna be nobodies in the kingdom of heaven. That's another video, another topic. These celebrities are gonna be nobodies in the kingdom of heaven. Absolutely nobody, man. The scriptures say that many shall rise to everlasting shame and contempt. Right? In Daniel 12. A lot, a lot of these niggas are gonna rise to everlasting shame and contempt. These coffin boys, man. You know? Hey, shout out. A hop, a hop knows about them coffin boys, man. You know? <laughs> You know, all you niggas, all you celebrities, you a bunch of coffin boys, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you've been taken in coffin by other men. You know? You've been popped by Jewish men, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You nigga, you, you fucking degenerates, man. You know, and these people are praising you because you got some money in the bank account, man. You know? Fuck you and your money, man. The scriptures say, the scriptures say that their riches shall not profit them in the day of wrath, man. In the day of the wrath for the most high, how about you now, shot the 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 uh, the, uh, the, 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 the 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 riches are not profit you, you know. It's not gonna profit you, you know. You done sold out for for crumbs, like like Kanye West said, man. Yeah, yeah, Boule Batty Boys, that's right. Uh, uh, like Kanye West said, I sold my my soul for 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 a few toys and a Happy Meal, man. You know. And look at this nigga, he's all bugged the hell out. He can't control his, his woman, his, his ex-woman, you know? She's over there fucking niggas because she was a hoe already, you know? His children, he can't have the custody over his children. I mean, what the hell did he sell his soul for? For a little clout, you know? For, so, so, he, so, he can, so he can go and party and people will recognize him and the women will want to get with him? That's what you sold your soul for? For, 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 for vanity, man. For vapor. For nothing, you know? You, you, you forsook everlasting life. So you could so you could party for 10 years, man, 20 years, 30 years, you know? So you wouldn't have to work a normal job, you know? So you could get the the, 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 the praises of men. The scriptures speak about, uh, uh, Matthew 23, it's, it's, it speaks about how the scribes and Pharisees uh, 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 love the praise of men, man, right? The scribes and Pharisees, they, these niggas, they love the praise of men and be, you know, get their asshole kissed and all this shit, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right, bro. That's right. Yeah, that's right, Matthew uh, 16, 26, that's good. Except for what a man, what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? But what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? That's right, yeah, that's a good precept. That's right, that go, that, that, that's right on point because, um, because, uh, yeah, what, what you gonna give in exchange for your soul? There's nothing that's worth your salvation, man. What the fuck is worth your salvation? Be, 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 like this, there's nothing in this world that, that just, you know, what I'm saying, going on trips and all this bullshit. I mean, the, the Lord has taken that that, that 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 worldly spirit away from us, but these people got that demon, that worldly demon on them. They they they, they have to like, you know, uh, get the latest car and they gotta fucking uh, uh, go and take all these vacations, you know. They got the spirit of the woman on them because that, that's really the spirit of a woman. A woman loves being in luxury. She she gotta be you know princess treatment only and you know what you written that, that that that's her nature man that's her nature to be get get taken care of you know in the kingdom we're gonna take care of our women you know but they're gonna take care of us they're gonna be, submit they're gonna you know what I'm saying they're gonna treat us as kings you know my lord my lord my lord you know but in this place man the, the, the average person they got the goddamn mentality of a woman you know all about comfort it's all about you know what I'm saying feeling good all the time. And she, what about duty, man? What, what what about sacrifice, man? What about that, that the, the, the the right sacrifice, not human sacrifice like these niggas do in the world? But because the scripture say present your body a living sacrifice, right? You, you, you what about what about faith, man? What about all the, all the things that money can't buy? You know, all you niggas care about is shit that money can buy, which eventually is gonna fucking dissolve in your hands. You know, with you right along with it, you're gonna dissolve right along with your paper, like like that Titanic movie. You know, them niggas went down with the ship. You niggas are going right down with the ship. Like Sarah Connor, you know, she she disintegrated in that movie in Terminator 2. You know? She had that dream, the missiles came. You know? Oh, everything that you niggas got, you're gonna lose. 
But you're trying to you trying to hold on to it for dear life. Like that shit's gonna save you or something, man. You know? Like Lot's wife. You wanna look back to Sodom and Gomorrah. You wanna you wanna hold on to your possessions, man. You know, like, like the scriptures say we brought nothing in this world and surely we could take nothing out. You know? You enjoy the shit that you got for a little while, but then but then you know, it, it is what it is. These things are gonna perish, man. They're they're temporary, man. But but the Lord said, uh, 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 store up treasures in heaven. So where moth uh, uh, and thieves do not enter and steal, you know. So um, let me read these. It's good, it's good stuff, man. That brother not here. It says uh, 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 Mark, Mark, Mark eight six three, oh, 36, My bad. Thirty six. My bad. Uh, for what shall it uh, profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? That's right. Yeah, all these niggas get gain the whole world, man. Michael Jackson, look at Michael Jackson, man. Gain the whole world and what? Nigga dead in the dirt. Don't nobody remember him. Not as slandering him. Oh, he touched kids. He did this. He did that. You know, great, great musician. Whatever you want to say, you know. But these niggas all turk. They all sold out, man. You know, and they they're not gonna be on top in in, in, in the new world to come. They're gonna be on the bottom because they received their consolation on this side. You know, so really, brothers, we're blessed, man. We're really blessed to have to, to, to really understand this and to really be uh, 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 to really even though we're poor in terms of the world um, the things that we have money can't buy all right the Lord gave this to us with no price the Lord gave it to us out of love sure love that's true love you know but you got to do your part um, by continuing to be faithful now it says first Timothy 6 and 9 but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and to many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men. I, I, I don't even need to read that one. I, just, I know that one by heart. Uh, which drown men uh, in destruction and perdition. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So, so they that be rich fall into many uh, hurtful and, and, and hurtful lusts, man. That just because you hurt yourself, man. You think you do? You think you hurting the heavenly father? You hurting somebody? No, you hurt yourself. You, you, you loving that money? You. You covenant after that shit eventually it's gonna lead to you murdering people you doing all kind of shit to keep your status you worshiping the devil the baphomet the, 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 the whatever you know what i'm saying entity these niggas worship it'll it'll lead you down a dark fucking path niggas will kill their mamas for some money you know like that nigga in chicago years ago you know the dreadhead nigga that nigga murdered his mama for insurance money man you know which she was probably a wicked black bitch, but it, it, it doesn't matter. You don't put, the scripture say honor your father and your mother, even though you don't put them to death. That's a dishonorable act, man. You don't you don't kill your family member over money, man. You don't go over there and try to kill a man for his wife. You know this, this is what people. This is why these niggas do every all the dirt that these niggas do. They do that shit to impress women to get to get to get money so they can impress bitches that don't love them. These women don't love you. You're trying to impress these women. These women don't care about you. All they care about is getting some money from you. It's a, it's a whole game All this shit is a big ass game The clubs the, 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 the stripper parties And all this shit All this shit is to put the money Back into the bitches pockets man You know You niggas are going out to the club Spending mad money Drugging up and shit like that What, what, what comes out of it? Did, did, did the bitch marry you? Did, did she uh, 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 You know Did she bury your children And she died in the house And she What is she doing? Nah You just threw a bunch of money at the bitch And, and, and you know and, and look who's laughing The white man the white man's in the back laughing at you niggas. He's laughing at you niggas, man. The other nations are looking at you like, what the fuck is this, man? You know? These, these people are just messed messed up and gone. But they're laughing. They're like, ha-ha, look at you. Look at you. You know? No other nation of people are they women all up in the strip clubs, man. Only the white only the white women, really. Only the white women kind of do it because they're white trash. But um, but when you see the 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 the, the the, go to the strip club You're going to see a m bunch of black bitches man, And and maybe a couple Latinas here and there You know But you're going to see a bunch of Dick Shirley's You're going to see you're gonna see a bunch of uh, uh, A bunch of loud mouth crows You know what I'm saying And most of them are going to be black chicks 90 some percent With BBLs And uh, boob jobs man You know Boob jobs BBLs man You know That's the name of the game in 2023 You got to have a You got to have a BBL If you don't have a BBL the bitch is looking at you weird. They're not gonna hire you at the club. The men are not gonna want you, so-called. You know, when a real man, he doesn't, he's not looking for a bitch with a BBL. A bitch with a BBL is a hoe. Why would a woman get a BBL? It's because she wanna attract attention from other men. 
she want to attract she wants to you know she, she wants to get the attention of other men which the attention of men means that some of those men are going to pop her which means whoredom a woman's supposed to be covered up man you know a woman's supposed to be for her husband and the ancient world getting bbls because they they, they they was already you know they was already good the women back then was more beautiful they didn't need fucking cosmetic surgeries and shit like that and these women those women were having children up to the, the to the age of 50 60 years old man these, they, you know what i'm saying we do the research man these women didn't stop having kids at no 30 you know they, they, they was their bodies was more strong back then man you know they didn't have all these retarded ass kids like they have today like these kids be retarded because these women wait too long or, or they, they do drugs while they while they're pregnant you know or they or they drink or they you know they're not taking care of themselves they're not eating a proper diet that's another thing too you gotta eat a proper diet man you niggas you niggas you don't eat a proper diet you latino you don't eat a proper diet man you eat like shit you eat bottom feeder shrimp you think that's a delicacy because the white man has sold it to you like that's a good thing man you know you eat nothing but sugary beverages and drinks and all kind of shit slushies now they got a new slushy song flo millie put out that slushy stuff everything you niggas promote is wickedness bro everything you niggas promote is evil dude I, when's the last time you seen jake promoting something positive either it's some pan-african bullshit you know oh yeah let's go back to africa like some dr umar johnson bullshit or or or, 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 or it's popeye's chicken or 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 or, or 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 it's something to do with lizzo you know some fat black woman empowerment shit you know black lives matter you know all it's all folly it's never it's never anything spiritual positive or true you know it's always about how the man can't have m many women black men ain't shit you niggas ain't shit you deadbeats you know uh 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 uh, uh you know it, it's always some folly it's always some mischief with you niggas you niggas are always up to no good every every time i turn on this goddamn this goddamn social media you know what i'm saying I, I, you just see nothing but just stupidity and justify justification of wickedness all the time the bitch will cheat and the, the, the dude they'll be like oh this is the guy's fault he, he he wasn't pleasing her you know oh why, why did you sleep with my brother i, I was i was watching a brother, brother from st louis put it up uh, uh it was like this chick uh this chick had cheated on the dude with her with her brother with the dude's brother and you know she she was throwing it throwing it back in his face like you the only one didn't know why well, yeah yeah it doesn't matter i don't owe you no loyalty i don't owe you loyalty you ain't you ain't you ain't my husband i ain't your girlfriend I, I, we just have a kid together like like the, the sanctity of marriage isn't even respected no more man nobody respects marriage nobody everybody just fucking each other you know these hoes are flying from city to city spreading their diseases you know what i mean the men are getting with the men the women like it, it, it's all manners of confusion all everywhere you look it's nothing but hell you know what i mean it's nothing but hell every 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 goddamn way you look it's nothing but confusion there's no there's there's no good in this place you know that's why i said that we live in a bizarre world man this is a fucking bizarre ass world you know like when you really examine like if you're a righteous man you examine this world and you come to the conclusion that this place is no good you know and you so-called christians you niggas are supposed to be the ones that's uh 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 you know represent god right you know the pope and all you niggas you niggas are the worst you're full of shit you know so let me read the rest of these man uh first timothy 6 and 10 for the love of money is the root of all evil while some covered it after they have erred from the faith and have pierced themselves through with many sorrows that's right you niggas have pierced yourself through with many sorrows man you know and you're gonna get what you sow you're gonna reap what you sow Galatians 6 and 7. Uh, the, be, beware, the Most High is not mocked. You know? For the man soweth that shall he also reap. You're going to reap what you sow, man. You niggas going to reap what you sow. And we're going to laugh at your calamity and we're going to mock when your fear coming. And especially you fucking women, man. Because you are, you proud as all hell. You know? Yeah, that's right. Uh, 2 Peter 3 and 10. But, the, but, in that day, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. You see? Thief in the night, which shall, shall, which, which, in which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's right. And you niggas are made up of elements too, so you're gonna burn too. You know, your bodies are made up of elements. It's gonna burn. You ain't, you ain't untouchable. You niggas think you're untouchable, but the the hand of the Lord stretched very far. You know, Second Peter three and eleven. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, 
What manner of person are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? That's right. You're supposed to be in, involved in this truth. All right. Second Peter 3 and 12. Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Most High God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's right. The elements going to melt with fervent heat. You know, that's that's what we that's what we're looking forward to that day. Where you niggas are dealt with, man. We can't wait till you niggas get dealt with, man. You know, you fat black bitches, you know, you goddamn demons, you sodomites, you know, all you goddamn clowns. You know, all all of you, all of you. May the Lord judge your ass. You know, you proud women, you know. <laughs> you other Israelite groups, you know what I'm saying? They're teaching bullshit, you know, you sellouts. Uh, 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 second edge of uh, 15 and 6 For wickedness has exceedingly Polluted the earth And their hurtful works are fulfilled That's right w Wickedness has exceedingly Polluted that earth man You know it, 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 It's polluted the earth To a point where There's no coming back From this man It has to be destroyed The society has to be destroyed There's no this, The scripture said We would have healed Babylon But she is not She, she could not be healed Isaiah uh, Jeremiah 51 Right, we would have healed Babylon. We would have healed this place, but it um it cannot be healed, man. This place cannot be healed. There's no turning back for this place, and these people they cannot be healed. They must be destroyed. They must be destroyed. There's no there's nothing you can do for your auntie. There's nothing you can do for your for your for your uh, unless she's of the elect. All right, but but for the most part, there's nothing you can do for these people. You can't you can't sit there and hey. Hey, hey, uh, uh, J Javante, uh, 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 understand that, you know, sit down and read the scriptures with him and you tell him and shit. This nigga's not going to get it, man. He's not going to understand. You know, you can sit there and try to explain it to your pops or your mom or whatever, you know, but, 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 but they're just, they're just brain dead, man. You know, just brain dead, man. All right. So, um, yeah, back in Proverbs. Proverbs 28, 18. It says, Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved, but he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. Yep. And these people are completely perverse, man. So they're going to fall at once. The Lord said the judgment is going to be swift, going to be quick, powerful, you know. It's going to be quick. The scripture say one hour, so great riches come to not. Revelation 18. One hour. It's going to be quick. The destruction of this place is going to be quick, powerful, man. You people are going to get caught, like the brother put it up right there in uh, 2 Peter 3. Right and ten, it says as a thief in the night, man. As a thief in the night, you niggas gonna get caught, man. You know, and it's gonna be, I, 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 it's gonna be a one big ass. I told you so. Then you shall know that a prophet has been among you. You know, in Proverbs, uh, um, uh, Ezekiel thirty-three, right? You shall know. Then you shall know that a prophet has been among you. Then you gonna know, yeah, yeah, them guys was on, they was on point. You know, we shouldn't have despised them. We shouldn't have, you know, we should have listened when we had the motherfucking opportunity. You know. We shouldn't have been watching the motherfucking uh, 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 TikTok, TikTok uh, dances all goddamn day long. You know, you, 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 your mind got to be on a higher level, man. You know, your mind got to be on a higher level than fucking TV dinners and, and, and pork sandwiches all fucking day. And, and, and worried about what the hell the NBA got going on or the fucking NFL or, you know, well, this, this, this world is so low, man. It's so low. You know what I mean? I understand if you're 11 years old, your brain ain't developed yet. You niggas are old. These these people are fifty years old, still still trying to still trying to go back to the to the eighties and shit. You know, like nigga, you you you're, you're too old for this shit, man. These niggas be in the club, like still trying to act like a young nigga. You know, the young niggas are trying to act like the old niggas. You know, you got these. Oh, oh let, let, let me say something about these old dudes, man. These old niggas are are, are just as worse, as, just as bad as the, the young niggas. I mean, they, these old dudes have no backbone no more, man. Like they've they've completely been emasculated as well, man. Like you talk to one of these old niggas, and, and I, I was at the court the other day saying this is like a couple years back. I remember this Puerto Rican cat. He came to you know he he used to, he was a cool dude, but he used to always play music. He was hooping and shit. And this nigga, you know, he put on Bad Bunny. And I was like, I was like, I was like, hey, you, you like Bad Bunny, man? How you, you really did? He was like, yeah, man. He's like a great lyricist, bro. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, what about the dresses? What's your thought about him wearing dresses and painting himself and shit? He's like, man, you know, everybody got, you know, we live in a new world now where, you know, I'm like, yo, yo, are you serious, man? What kind of fucking man are you, nigga? What kind of bitch ass nigga are you, man? 
You ain't got no balls. Like, nigga, you know your daddy taught you to not be a fucking faggot, man. You, you, you know you grew up to, to, to be a man, right? I know in Puerto Rico they used to lynch niggas, right? But, 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 you know, I didn't say nothing that. But I'm like, you know, I'm like, yo, these people are really bugged out, man. You know? They used to, they, I, I know in the islands they get rid of them, the, them sodomites, man. You over there talking about, oh, you know, and this is how, this is the mentality of these old niggas, man. You know, they're just as bad. They want to, they want to please the crowd and all that shit, man. You know, they want to please, they want to fit in with the world. You know, these old niggas, bro, they, they a lot of them are, are gone, bro. A lot of them have lost their masculine edge, man. They've lost that, you know, they got soft. They've gone soft, you know, they, they, they're, they're cool with like feminism. You know, oh, you know, the women, man, you know, you gotta, you know, the women, you know, you gotta give them the black queens, you gotta give them their, uh, you gotta, <laughs> you know, the, the, the melanated goddesses, they, they, they got this new term, melanated goddess, like, what the, what the fuck is this, man, you, you, you niggas over there pandering, calling these women goddesses and shit, they over there treating you like shit, they're not showing you the same respect, when's the last time the black woman called the black man a god, yeah, you my, you are god on the earth, which that's what we are, the scriptures never describe the woman as a goddess, there's not one scripture in the Holy Scriptures that called the woman a goddess. There's not one. There's not one scripture that says that the Israelite woman is the queen. The queen. We never had a queen in Israel. G give me one queen that was a queen of Israel. You had a lot of kings, though. You had, you, had, you had a number of kings of Israel, man. But you never had a queen because the Lord never dealt that way with us. Those are heathen customs to have a queen, to have a, uh, to have a fucking senate. That's a, that, that's a heathen custom. That's a white man's uh, invention to have a Senate and to vote democracy. Democracy is a white man's thing, man. That's the Edomite way of life. Democracy, motherfucking uh, capitalism, uh, Marxism, all that shit. Those are Edomite concepts that they created. You know what I'm saying? Now you niggas are, uh, like, uh, you be in South America, right? And you niggas, oh, democracy, 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 democracy. Because you, you, you niggas are drunk off the wine of Babylon, man. Off of that strange philosophy That this bizarre ass world Got you wrapped up in this bullshit man Even my family I, I see it You know what I'm saying My family Your family I mean everybody's in this goddamn bubble They're all in this goddamn metrics bubble And you know what I'm saying they, they, they will never get out of it They will never get out of it Until they be destroyed Only the elect are gonna wake up out the metrics That's it That's the only hope The elect is the hope The, the elect of Yahweh Bashem is the hope Okay, the rest of the nation, there's no hope in them. What the fuck kind of hope could these nigga get? You know, uh, uh, <laughs> bro, bro, low. These people are low, man. You know, you can't look to them for anything. No. Yeah, hey, hey Shawan, bro. Shawan, Tazapanya, man, what's going on? Right. Hey, hey, Revelation <laughs> fourteen eight, and they shall. And there followed there another angel saying, Babylon is falling, is falling, that great city, because she has made all the nations drunk off the wine of the wrath of fornication. That's right. Yep. They're all drunk, man. Especially you niggas, man. You're all drunk, man. You're all drunk, man. You know? It says, um, Proverbs 28, 19, He that tell of his, the land, he that tell of his land shall have plenty of bread. But he that followeth after vain persons shall have poverty enough. Yeah, you niggas are <laughs> you niggas are following after vain persons, man. So you're gonna have poverty. You following after vain people, man. It's Kim K. Kim K. You know, Kim K did this and ooh, Lala's birthday. Lala's birthday was yesterday, you know. Oh my god, Beyonce, 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 and then Lotto and this person, they're all fucking vain, man. They're all set up to deceive you, to keep you stupid. I I've been there. I used, to, I used to look up to uh, my fucking Chief Keefe and them when I was a kid, when I was like 11 or 12, you know what I'm saying? I used to be like, oh, Chief Keefe, you know what I'm saying? Not, not, not. You know, whatever the fuck celebrity, you know, at the time, you know? You know? You, you look up to these people, what are you looking them up? They just, you, you, you giving them your money, they're getting richer, you getting stupider and stupider and poorer and poorer, you know? They're over there getting all the clout and all the attention. You What, are, what the hell are you doing? You're doing nothing. Except <laughs> becoming stupider and poorer and, 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 and less educated, you know? Anyways, man. It says verse 20, Proverbs 28 and 20. A faithful, a faithful man shall abound with blessings. But he that hasteth to be rich shall not be innocent. See, you people haste to be rich. You you do whatever it takes to make it in this world, okay? You, you, want, you want everything now. Now, now, now. If I can't get it now, now. You know, like a kid, you know? 
you, uh, you, you don't take it to the store. You don't take them to the store. Because hey, yeah, they can't get the shit now. You know? They need everything to happen now. The Lord said, through your patience, possessing your souls. Uh, the, our riches, our, the things that's coming to us, is not gonna, it's not going to happen immediately, man. All right? Us taking over the, the earth and us, right now, we got to suffer, be poor and, and be hated and, you know, have nothing and shit. You know? But we... But that reward, that ultimate reward is going to be great. That ultimate reward is going to be is, is going to be worth it, man. You know? So it says, A faithful man shall abound with blessings. But he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. So you people are not innocent. The scriptures say, Have any perish being innocent, man? You know? Uh, what's that? Job 4 and 7? Uh, uh, has any perish being innocent? You people that perish, you're not innocent, man. None of you are innocent. A lot, and, and a lot of you got the blood of your house on you, man. Cause you was those same niggas that was that was talk, telling telling Pastor Pilate and them to put him to death and give us Barabbas, give us Barabbas, give us uh, uh give us young young Dolph, give us uh, uh, uh give us Key Glock, give us Gucci Man, give us uh, uh, uh you know instead of instead of uh, the men of the Lord, you know, give us uh you know Andrew Tate, you know you niggas respect Andrew Tate more than you respect the men of the Lord, more than you respect you know, you look up to these niggas like they're game changers. Oh Kevin Samuels, Kevin Samuels died. Oh, it's a big old thing, you know. Something happens to Jamie Foxx. Oh, oh, oh my God! You know, if something happened to your hero LeBron James, every every one of these little niggas would be crying. You know, they all all be crying. If something happened to K Sinet, all you niggas would be crying and shit. They'll be R.I.P. He was such a great guy. He was a great man. You know, these these niggas that have done nothing for our people, absolutely nothing. But yet somehow they're worthy of praise and, and admiration, right? <laughs> so it says, though, there's the point right here. Proverbs 28 and 21. To have respect the person is not good. For a piece of bread that man would transgress. These people have transgressed. Just like Kobe, that's right. When Kobe died, that nigga, all these niggas are crying. Oh my God. Even these bitches, you know, they never watched a day of basketball in their life. They don't give a damn about basketball. Oh, Kobe. Kobe, Kobe. Uh, this bitch I was messing with, she named her dog Kobe after the, after the nigga. I'm like, this bitch don't even watch basketball. She don't even like sports. Oh, Kobe. R.I.P. Gia. Whatever the little kid's name was that died with him. His daughter's name. Uh, uh, Pay, whatever her name was. He got two two daughters. One of them died. Oh, my God. Gigi. Oh, Gigi. Yeah, Gigi. Gigi. Like, <laughs> these people are just... These people are simple, man. These people are simple, man. You know? These people are, are, are highly simple, man. They're highly simple. You know? To have respect a person is not good for a piece of bread that man would transgress. He that hasted to be rich, uh, Proverbs 28, 22. Uh, he that hasted to be rich hath the evil eye, and considering not the poverty that shall come upon him. He that rebuketh the man afterwards shall find more favor than he that flattereth with the tongue. See, we ain't flattering with the tongue, man. We ain't trying to kiss you niggas' asses and flatter with the tongue. We telling you straight. You know, we're telling you straight, straight like that. You know, this is why we get all the hatred that we get, all the backlash, all the all the, all the animosity, because we're not we're not coming with that flattering tongue that you niggas want to hear. Like it says in Isaiah thirty, the thirtieth chapter. That's right. When a man of the Lord dies, don't nobody care. Don't nobody give a damn. Don't nobody care. They ain't gonna throw you a parade. They're not gonna say, oh, this 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 man was really, was really about this faith. He was a great man. He was a faithful soldier. Nope. Nope. He was a brother. No, no, no. They're going to they're gonna say George Floyd. George Floyd. A nigga like George Floyd. You know? They almost they almost destroyed cities because of damn George Floyd got killed. Or because Eric Garner. Or, 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 or the, other, the other chick. Sandra Bland got shot. These are all these niggas are wicked, man. You know? All these niggas are wicked, man. It says verse 24, whoso robbeth his father or his mother and saith it is no transgression, the same is the companion of a destroyer. He that is of a proud heart stirs up strife. But he that putteth his trust in the Lord shall be made fat. <laughs> We're gonna be made fat, man. You see? We're gonna be made fat, meaning rich. We're gonna be made rich. He that putteth his trust. Hey, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a video right there. He that is of a proud heart stirreth up strife, but he that trusted in the Lord shall be made fat, man. You niggas are of a proud heart, man. You know? 
you niggas are of a proud spirit, man. You know, you think you don't need to repent to the most high. You think that the most high doesn't exist. Even though all you niggas, they all talk about God. They all talk about God. When something happens, Jesus, Jesus, oh, Jesus, let's go to the church. Let's go to the church. But when it comes to the word, you niggas don't really, don't, you, you don't, you don't really, uh, uh, um, you don't really believe. Hey, pull, pull a Bible verse to the niggas. They'll be like, oh, no, no, that don't mean that. That don't mean that. God, only God could judge me. Like that faggot nigga, Tupac. You know, you niggas are, are in the spirit of your of the devil. J John 8, 44. They say, they say, um, they say, that, uh, 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 yeah, are your father the devil, and the lust of your father you shall do. He was a murderer in the, from the beginning, and he abode not in the truth. You niggas are in the spirit of Tupac, your daddy. And Tupac was the spirit of the devil. Just like Biggie. Biggie had a song where he said, I suck you. Oh, you look so good, I'll suck your daddy's dick. For real. I mean, you can look it up. These are these are sodomites, man. That these niggas look up to these hard crumping niggas, you know. You know, nigga Buster Rhymes went on stage the other day, you know, acting all tough. All these niggas, all these niggas are sodomites, man. You know, Tupac is up there. You know, they got a famous picture of Tupac with the gold on in the tub, with his niggas naked like this. You know, talk about some. You know, like what the fuck? These are supposed to be the alpha males of of of, 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 our, of our people. This is supposed to be the, 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 the top guys where everybody, all the women want to sleep with, you know? Dread, these dreadhead niggas, you know? These, these, these tatted up thug life niggas. These are the, these are the ones that you, you bitches want, want to produce their offspring. You want to repopulate with these niggas. But, but men like us, you know what I'm saying? Normal men, you know what I'm saying? Heterosexual men, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 that uh, uh, live by the, by the law, this commandment of the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Real men. Oh, they're not good enough. Not good enough. Not sexy. Not attractive. Too boring. Too safe. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the nigga too safe. He he he. He's not a scammer. He doesn't have a. He, he doesn't make a hundred thousand a day stealing from people. You know. He's not a drug dealer. Look at these. Look at these goddamn uh, uh, interviews with these women, man. They'll say, "Do you want a, a nine to five working man or do you want a scammer?" The bitch nine out of ten they'll choose a scammer. A damn. Scamming, lying, drug dealing nigga, you know, a grimy street nigga. They, 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 this is what these women like. They like the thug nigga, you know, a nigga that's just a good guy, man. You know what I'm saying? He may not, he doesn't necessarily even have to be in the truth, right? Good guy, you know, nice guy, man. Could probably be a good father, probably provide whatever, man. The, the bitch don't like him until she's 35 years old and, and, and past the wall, pat, you know, until until she got a couple kids. Now she wanna, now she want a good dude. Now she want a real, you know. Come on, man. This is why you women gonna be destroyed and dealt with, man. You know. That's why you gonna. That's why because you don't know how to appreciate what you got. You know, and you don't have no humility, zero humility. You know, for a woman to apologize, it's 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 almost like you know pulling teeth, bro. You know, you ever been with a woman get in an argument? The bitch apologizing is like you gotta pull the words out of her. You know, you gotta. <laughs> You gotta pull the words out of the bitch because she ain't gonna be like, I'm sorry, my lord. Uh, I shouldn't have did this. Uh nah, 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 nah. She's gonna wax bold, gonna stick her chest out like this, and look at you in the eyes and tell you that you were wrong. What you did was wrong. You know? Whatever you did was wrong. You ain't shit. You didn't pay the bills. You don't make enough money. You don't this, you don't that. Your dick ain't big enough. The other nigga, he 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 did more shit than you do. That's complete disrespect, man. But this is how these women act, man. They don't fear no consequence, man. Just like you niggas, you don't fear no consequences either, man. You know, this society is a con is, is a consequence free society for the most part. The only thing they lock you up for is like killing somebody or something. You know, you could do basically any goddamn thing. You know, as long as you don't hurt nobody. You know, <laughs> you could stick all kind of needles in your arms. There's nobody, ain't nobody gonna judge you. You know, nobody's gonna judge you. In this society, there's no judgment, man. You know. Oh, what proves that? Them goddamn moles that 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 that, that we was uh that we seen that day uh, uh uh at the camp, man. You know, which you know, we seen it on the video, whatever the case may be. You know? These goddamn sodomites was out there naked, man. About a hundred of them, they don't nobody get arrested. Let let us let you go take a leak in in public, they will arrest your ass. Because I need to use the bathroom. But these people are out there, uh 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 these people are out there naked with their balls out titties out you know what I'm saying children are present all over the place man you know but 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 these people say they care about the kids right the children we love the children 
and this and that, man, you, you niggas are full of shit, man. You, you make all these laws, you don't even keep them, you know? That's why George Bush, Daddy Bush said, uh, uh, D D Daddy Bush, Bush Sr., he said the Constitution is nothing but a piece of paper, because that's all it is. The Constitution ain't, ain't, ain't worth a goddamn, man. Because when them, them FEMA troops come in there, them Gurkha troops, you know, them UN troops, you know, when martial law kick in and all that shit, they're not gonna, you ain't gonna be able to hold the Bill of Rights up and say, oh, uh, I'm an American citizen and I have my rights. This is my house. This fucking house don't belong to you, bitch ass nigga. Get out of here, nigga. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna, they're gonna go in the house, take your kids, take your children, you know, pop, pop your wife, you know. They ain't gonna give a damn about no constitution. Oh, you can't come in here without a warrant. You know, you niggas think you're safe because, you know, the you know, doesn't have no warrant. They ain't gonna give a damn about that day, man. They ain't gonna care. They shit, they already don't care, man. They kill you niggas indiscriminately, man. You know? <laughs> hey, but the most high y'all about Shimia Shai, man, he's a power of judgment, man. And he has a sense of humor, man. Because you niggas wanna play? You niggas wanna play? Okay, we can play. Like 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 uh Tony Montana said. You nigga wanna play? You wanna play? We can play. You know how you say? Yeah. You wanna you wanna play? Say hello to my little friend. You know, and the Lord going the Lord gonna release a lot of little friends out. He's gonna <laughs> he's gonna release a lot of missiles your way. He's gonna re he's gonna release the plagues your way. He's gonna release Leviathan after you niggas, man. Just like he did that that expedition. When them niggas went down there to the submersible, shit, it was probably Leviathan. It was probably Leviathan down there messing with the me messing with them niggas, man. You know? It was most likely Leviathan, man. Um so it says Proverbs 28 and uh, verse 25, man. That's a bad scripture, man. He that is of a proud heart stirreth up strife. See, all you niggas, all you do is stir up strife, man. That's all you do. But he that put his trust in the Lord shall be made fat. Just look, just go to a party with a nigga, with niggas. There's always going to be some fighting going on, shooting, people getting shot, women, women fighting, pulling each other's tracks out, you know. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's all manner of, of strife that, that's brought about by you niggas, man. There's never any peace with you niggas. You can't go over there with a nigga and have some peaceful, a peaceful dialogue, man. You can't, you can't have fun without a, a, a guns, drugs, weed, you know. So it says, verse twenty-six: He that trusted in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. He that giveth unto the poor shall not lack, but he that hideth his eyes shall have many curses. Uh, when the wicked rise, men hide themselves. But when the, they perish, the righteous increase. It. And we about to increase, man. We about to increase. The wicked gonna wax worse and worse, just like the house of Saul. The house of Saul is you two third niggas. You fucking faithless two third niggas. You 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 comprise the house of Saul. You know, you lukewarm niggas. You you, 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 you beta males. You fucking uh. You, you big Shirley's. You know, <laughs> you you out of order women. You you comprise. The two thirds, man, and you're the ones that's gonna decrease, but the elect gonna increase. The house of David, the elect, the elect, <laughs> the elect, man. The house of David, the the house of David, man. They're gonna wax stronger and stronger, and and you niggas gonna wax weaker and weaker, a lot until the day that you're destroyed with your master, the white man. All right. So with that, I say, call Halaim Lai Yahweh Hashem Hamashiach Yahushai, and uh, peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom.